me, Lafifi. Smells like pee pee. <laughs> Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a long term boglehead investor. I'm author of the book Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. And we are about to witness the manipulation of Jeremy LaFufu in its full form. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I can already see what Jeremy's strategy is. And here's how he's going to convince people to buy his stupid little course. That's what? $2,500 for two years? Yeah, great deal, bro. So I can learn how to what? Lose money on stoinks? All he's going to do is, let's say the market somehow rebounds, okay? doesn't matter how massively down he is. If the stock that he bought at some point goes up in a trading day or a week, 44, 60 something percent, he'll claim that he just timed the bottom perfectly, bro. And you can see I'm already doing it in this video. But never forget, this clown has been buying these trash companies at such ridiculous valuations that it's almost impossible for him to recoup his losses unless he just massively dumps money in over time consistently which is what he's trying to do but at the end of the day this clown has burned massive amounts of money and he's a freaking manipulator so let's watch this video here oh, we're not gonna watch the whole thing because god help us but here he is talking about oatly my goatly so listen very closely i think that's just literally ridiculous this stock went up 44 percent in 14 trading days with <gasps> No news. There hasn't been any big news that came out with Oatly in the past 14 trading days. Nothing. And the stock just climbed 44%. Right? And so meanwhile, somebody, guess what? Whoever was selling those shares, they sold them to somebody. Somebody bought those shares for $2.86. And somebody was selling the stock at two eighty eight, And somebody bought them. Good, you should sell this stock. Go look at my Oatly video. The company doesn't even care about profits. They're a bunch of stupid communists trying to save the world. Wow, wow, no cow. Wow, I'm a libertish. Oh, yeah. This company's a freaking joke, okay? Oh, uh, oat milk's taking over the world. It's the future, bro. Yeah, okay. What is it, like three times as expensive as normal milk? Yeah, okay, idiot. So, he's saying that Oatly, my goatly, went up 44%. So, if you're a new investor and you're like, man, yes, everything's down. Oatly went up 44%. This is how he tricks you. But let's go look at the price history of Oatly My Goatly. So, let's look over the past year. So, Oatly, it looks like it reached a peak of $28.73. It's now $4.10. So, let's do the math here. $28.73. So, it's $4.10. My, Oops, $4.10 minus $28.73. Divided by 28.73. It's down 85% since the peak. And you know Jeremy LaFufu was probably buying it somewhere at the top. So, oh yeah, but, but, but Strongman, it went down 85%, but we've made that back. Oh really? Let's say Oatly My Goatly, from here, goes up 100%. Alright, so it, let's say it doubles. Oops, that was wrong. I'm screwed up my math today. Let's say Oatly doubles. If Oatly doubles from current valuations, it'll be trading at $8.20. Now, let's see how massively down you would still be if you had that double. That 2x, bro. What was it, 28.10 or something like that? You're still down 70%. If a stock gets cut massively, 40, 50, 60%, you're going to have to have massive returns to the upside to make up for it. So here's what LaFufu is bragging about, okay? Let's go look at the past five years. Oatly rockets up at IPO and then crumbles, just absolutely freaking crumbles. And then it reached a bottom, it looks like, of, well, it's lower than that, $2 something. You see this little blip down here? You see it? That tiny little blip. That's what he's bragging about. And that's what you freaking clowns are going to get convinced of. Oh, he got 44% returns. Oh, my God. If you buy a stock at a lofty valuation, you'll, almost, you'll probably never recover your money. Ever. That's how freaking bad it is. It's a deception. Let's see his next stupid stock that he talks about. 44 by 34. Oh, Avant Brands. 
less than three weeks, right? This is what happens in the stock market. People make panic decisions. They get scared with everything that's going on. And they, they, it doesn't matter what your earnings were. It doesn't matter what your balance sheet is. It doesn't matter what your income statement is. <laughs> you notice he's starting to say income statement now because I called him out. Everything's a balance sheet. People just sell at any price. Any price. Yes, you should sell at any. If, if this stock is trash, I don't even know what Avon is. It's probably over the counter. Let's see. Avant brand stock. <laughs> so you see, it basically, it's been trading for a while. Wow. It's a freaking penny stock. What a joke. So it freaking crumbled over a long period of time. And then it saw a massive spike in January 2019th, 2021. So you know LeFoufou was probably buying right around here, okay? It was 77 cents, whatever. So it's trading at 24 cents. So we take 24 24 minus 77 <laughs> divided by 77. So if you bought at the peak, you're down 68%. Now, if the stock 2Xs from where it's at now, let's see how much you'd still be down. You're still down 37%, okay? And this is a short-term market fluctuation. Who freaking cares? It's a joke. This guy is a freaking manipulator. Look at this. Profit margin negative 11%. What a freaking shock. Was a Canadian weed company? What is Avant Brands? Avant Brands? I bet you it's a weed company. Oh, yeah, it's an industry leader of handcrafted, small batch, superior quantity, quality, cannabis. Yeah, there's no cannabis companies out there. Oh, wow, that's a great investment. What a freaking joke. This guy's a sad freaking loser. You know he's desperate because he has all these, uh, all these freaking advertisements. Looking to apply to join my private Discord. <laughs> Maybe I should try to do that. So, don't get swept up into this guy's freaking manipulations. He's full of crap. He's an idiot. He buys trash stocks at lofty valuations, and he gets freaking wrecked. And he will potentially, at some point, maybe, possibly, I doubt it, get some positive returns on these stocks. But you won't, because you're going to listen to him. You're going to buy a stock at some stupid valuation. It's going to go down massively. And you're not going to have the funds, the resources, the YouTube income to buy those stocks. This is his manipulation. It's, it's, it's on full display here. This is what he's doing. Oh, 44 Did VT go up 44%? No, but I'm still up massively over the last 10 years. Loser. Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going to go to the gym soon. Talk to you later. Cheers.